Hey, Moto Photo Adventure fans, welcome back. Um, in this episode, the boys are going to take you down through some of the areas of Key West. Um, they're going to have um, dessert and lunch, and um, they're going to have to deal with some disappointments and some long rides through some mangroves. Uh, all in all, stay tuned and uh, watch it unfold. Man, palm trees and bougainvillea bushes. Here we are in Key West, and I feel like I'm back home in Africa. This is so cool. How cold was it when you left um, Tennessee? Uh, about 35. See, if you move to the Keys, this is one place in the continental United States you would never freeze. It's never had snow or frost. Lowest temperature ever, 41 degrees. And that's, wow, that's only happened chilly. twice in history. Wow. But yeah, <laughs> given that I'm going back in, I think, 23 degree, degree weather, I can appreciate that right now. I'll bet. <laughs> Lighthouse was built in 1825 and stood 65 feet tall. Mr. Michael Mabrady was the original keeper and he died in 1932 but his wife Barbara took over and served for 32 years. The hurricane of Havana came through in 1846. It killed 14 people including seven of Barbara's family. Now she went on to continue after the new one was rebuilt but she was fired at the age of 82 for being a union sympathizer. Coming up on the Hemingway House here in Key West. Interesting little things about this. So about 60 cats uh, live in this house and many of them are polydactyl. So that means they got six toes. In fact, it looks like they, uh, they have a thumb. It looks like they're wearing mittens and they have a thumb. So the way this all started is the ship's captain gave uh, Ernest Hemingway uh, the six-toed cat, the polydactyl cat, and it was named Snow White. Anyway, apparently he was quite a, a seed spreader and his legend lives on and so there's a bunch of cats in there with six toes. Cool stuff. That's your favorite side. I see. Okay, smiling, look at each other, laughing. Very nice. One more, one more, one more. And both hands behind your back. Well, we're going to be on this side. Yeah. And if you uh, turn a little bit towards me, turn this way. Yeah. Come up. Or actually, this hand should be in your pocket. Nice. Come closer just a little bit. Nice. All right. Great smiles. Look at each other. Everywhere we go, this is what happens. I'm just saying, everywhere we go. Yeah, but my, my nails. <laughs> Isn't it great? I mean, you can take it. He loves his job. <laughs> While you're in Key West, you can eat your weight in key lime pie. Unfortunately, the tangy and sweet citrus fruit is not something you're gonna find on a local tree. It'll be difficult. Uh, that's partly because key lime pie is now used with fruits that are brought in from India, the West Indies, and Mexico. I had 
successfully purchased the key lime pie, but now we have to see if the world famous sign lives up to its name. Here we go. It's pretty creamy. It's pretty good. Chris actually was concerned that we were eating this before lunch. I have no idea what his problem is. Like, why is that an issue? I don't feel like I'm hungry anymore. You just need a better appetite. Where's lunch? <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> well, now that dessert has been found and consumed, it's time for lunch. I'm kind of working on mine. But uh, first, uh, let's visit the water and make their presence known to the pelicans. Most of you have heard of the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. Some of you might have heard of the Belize Reef, which is the second largest reef in the world. Right here in Key West is the third largest reef in the world, the Florida Reef. It stretches for 170 miles down to the Dry Tortugas. Amazing place with over 1,400 species of incredible wildlife. So what you're saying is Key West is for the birds? And animals and fish. Okay, good. Cool. Cuban restaurant. This is pretty cool. Very, very cool. It has a very local flair to it, I think. This was another recommendation cool. from our friend uh, Scott Wrightland. Good. Oh, okay. Yeah, Excellent cool. choice. And the sun came out on a Sunday afternoon. Okay. Nice. Sounds like a good 70s folk song. <laughs> it does. Peter, Paul, and Mary might have sung it. This is mine. You guys, I don't know what the heck you're thinking. It's as big as your forearm. I swear, I did not know it was going to be that large. Chris, like, <laughs> I don't even what know. can you say? <laughs> it's not even going to fit. <laughs> That's what she said. Where's it? What'd you order? Fish sandwich. Oh, me too. Do you want him to drum in? Hey guys, this is Steve from Moto Photo Adventures with an orange shirt review. Actually, today it's going to be a black shirt tip. Little secret when you're carrying your cameras, instead of having it with the lens like this from the traditional way, if you'll hang it from either like the bottom and here, the lens will tend to stay back and behind. So as you're walking, if you brush into something, you're not hitting your lens. Super easy, saves you from um, damaging and putting fingerprints on the front of your lens. And it's a, it's a great and easy way to carry your camera without having to worry about it.
I've got a rear facing GoPro. Yeah, I saw that. I was trying to get side by side with the face. Just stay close so that that wide angle lens doesn't push you into little tiny ants. I hate being pushed into tiny ants. Look at all the bicycles. It's a race. I like the way they painted the signs, the street signs on the light poles. Hmm. Save a whole nother apparatus. Hey, do you want to race? Do you want to race? Do you want to race? Maybe you dream. 500 feet. Uh, look for parking. What was the name of it? Kino, Kino Sandals, about here on the left. Good to me, roll it. You want to pay to park? Well, oh. that's about all they have, I think, in here, isn't there? I guess you and I are going to go into Kino Sandals. It's supposed to be this like crazy cool place, run yeah. by run by fourth generation Cubans. That alone is pretty interesting. Fourth generation, that's that's a lot of years of business. I think they're a little big. Bummer. We missed them by like five minutes. <laughs> they closed. It's Sunday and they close early on Sundays. So we missed it. I'm super bummed, dude. I know, I was actually I was hoping that I could actually find something for Holly to bring home. Sorry, Holly. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> You're still gonna have to find something. That's not an excuse, I'm, really I'm sorry. I'm bothered. married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were super excited. Kino Sandals is supposed to be this really cool old world kind of place where they still, you know, hand stitch the leather and they still walk uh, kind of uphill both way. ways to school and, yeah. you know, and uh, fourth generation handed down from generations to generation. But And they're high quality sandals, so it's, it's a pretty neat thing. But, but we missed it. Oh, well. I guess you guys will have to come look for it and do it yourself. Okay, so... You know, I've had a few sad faces on this on this adventure. I, I have noticed. Well, we just added one to it. They closed like five minutes ago. Oh. Yeah, so we missed it. It's my turn. I love how the wind has all the palm fronds come in one direction. Sure. <laughs> Man, it turned out to be a beautiful day though. This is gorgeous. It's still 69 degrees, which is just absolutely beautiful riding weather. Oh wow, that's pretty. Look at all those houses lit up. That's a pretty picture right there. Yep, looks like Jamaica. Started out overcast, but it turned out to be a beautiful day, didn't it? It's gorgeous. There were two miles from our turn at Wyon. Okay. Yeah, you remember that last episode where the guys got directions from Paul? <laughs> well, we're about to see how well they lined up with uh, the directions. Uh, let's just say it's a good thing they didn't skip lunch. Neat. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. It's Batman's cave. He did say he hasn't been here in years. Watch your head on this one coming up. You like really watch. <laughs> Just bend your, bend your uh, double takes down. Here, I can come help it hold it up. 
Oh, wait a second. I know what I can do. That'll help. Watch this. Look at this. You see it moving down? Look at my suspension. Yeah. I just, I just dropped it. Ah. Ooh. <clears throat> you got it. Ah. There we go. That was good. Is it just me? It sure seems like it's taking these guys a long time to get through these trees and mangroves. Hmm. Nope. Uh oh. Hey, come back. I'm holding this thing up. There's a Y stick that's actually been holding this thing up and uh, let it go. So I'm holding it with my tiptoes. So he's gonna prop it back in there. Stand by. Oh God. All right. Let it down. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. You got it. Ah. Oh, Good job. Man. Freaking hurt. Bar. What's the 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 the. the, the it's a limbo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Having to make sure I don't whack off my 360. I know, right? <laughs> oh. This has got a lot of promise, guys. Yeah, man. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Into any kind of clearing at all. That, di to go. that diffused water or the diffused cloud sun is amazing. Wonder if we should uh, launch a drone. Not sure if I'm that adventurous just yet because I got to land it somewhere. Oh my gosh, it goes a long way. Yeah, we should have should have brought the beer with us. Well, we wanted some good content, guys. <laughs> got to work for it. Exactly. The words are reworth it in the end. Wait a second. Hang on. Stop a second. Make sure we're going where, we're, where we think we are. I see no roads. <laughs> I guess this is it. If it's if this is the case, we've got a ways to rock. I'm still seeing tracks, so this has got to be the way. We'll get out here and there's like 10 tents. <laughs> I've got an RV sitting out here. <laughs> Came in from the other direction. Yeah, at about that's a quarter a, of a mile. That's a paid road. There's an entrance uh, kiosk that you have to pay. <laughs> that you have to pay. <laughs> cool. Though. There's somebody down here. Be careful. Is there? Pardon us. I'm starting to lose you guys. Yeah, we we waited for him. Thanks. We should have stopped and asked him how far. Yeah, I can. I have a, I, I, I have a kind of a memory of what it looked like, so we've got a little bit of a ways, but I'd say we're three quarters of the way there. Part of it, I mean, this right here is wide open. It's getting a little easier in places. Oh, took that branch with me. Oh my gosh, I think it's gonna go across that sinew. There's this tiny little bridge of land that connects this one to another one. Oh. Oh. Gets a little skinnier, and then it then it gets okay again. Oh wow, big clearing here. <laughs> ah, this is amazing. You're gonna be in bird heaven, dude. Sweet. Just had a pelican fly over me. At least you don't have to worry about getting lost. No kidding. A lot further than it looked. But we're almost there. I see water. That's a good step. Whether we have room to pitch tents, I have no idea. Dude, there's nothing. This isn't where he was talking about. It can't be. It's a dud, guys. It's a dud. Oh. <laughs> All of that struggle for nothing. I know. <laughs> we were riding, I'm like, it'll be worth it. It'll it's be gonna worth be worth it. <laughs>
Oh, and it's man. not like it was hard, but it was no. dodging. Yeah. Dodging stuff. The limbs keep jumping out and grabbing my dodging. handlebars. Yes. My wrists are definitely feeling it. Uh. Yeah. So, so here's the deal. Well, um, you've yeah, seen, hold on. you've, you've seen the footage. Yeah. All we can determine is because the guy kept giving us out all these different options, and the one that I can figure is either he gave us this option and there was a beach at one time and it's been washed away because he said it's been years. Right. So that's a possibility. Uh, or I got this one confused with one of the other ones that he mentioned. And that was the one with the nice sandy beach with the palm trees and like, anyway. So sun's going down. I'm gonna launch a drone maybe to see where we are. Maybe. maybe. We'll see if, it, if it's illegal. We've got an hour and such yeah. hour and 15 till, till it took us about 30 to get out here the good news is yeah. if we do have to go to the, the other, other one, options are a little much much easier to, to get to navigate to okay but if we do have to get to the other one then at least we can stop in town and buy whatever necessities we need true. before we go true 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 so. all right well but we better get to move on uh, ready fellas ready go. Go. So we are about to discover whether or not we've got another wah, 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 <laughs> or something that we can work with. Well, in the nighttime. In the nighttime. Hey, if nothing else, it's been an adventure, right? For Probably. sure. Hopefully, well, we, hopefully we won't wake up to a whoop, whoop. <laughs> I'll tell you what, looking for that other campsite, sure was an advertisement for Park Busters. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was very thankful for mine. Well, the double take mirrors too, because I just uh, rotated them up behind my windshield. Oh yeah, my other ones would have been screwed. If I'd have had OEM ones on, they'd have been screwed. Mm -hmm. Road in, 500 feet, that's appropriate. Well, and that's where I made the marker, is right up here, so. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, this. this is not promising. This doesn't wow. Look. Pitch our tents. Wait, 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 wait. There is something. Y'all stay on the right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my lights back there. Say so we uh, dismount and get yeah. the bush for a minute with a flashlight. I'll stay on this and just light it up for you. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> if he gets smashed up by a monster, at least I've got it on video. <laughs> No go. Marsh. Marsh. Oh, is it marsh? Ah. Right oh. Because we're running out of options. <laughs> well, that's strike two. Will the guys find a epic campsite? Hard to say. Have to wait until episode seven to find out. This is Steve Bruce saying thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.